was thinking, yes, I can solve your sales problem. You know where my office is at the spaces, right? I'll see you there soon. I'm going to have my coffee now. Bye. Earning business. Going out there and grabbing the right attention. With effective engagement. Earning the relationship. Producing more sales. Increasing cash flow. Multiplying annual revenue. Producing higher profit margins and a huge return on your investment capital. The C is the close. For me, the close happens in the opening because as you're asking questions and you're tying them out, you're really closing them, okay? So, the close. Okay? The close, I call it win-win relationship. I'm sure some of you heard this. When I used to do it being the investor, if I said, it's a win-win situation, I said, yeah, that's not always the case. Somebody's always losing, right? And I hate that. Okay. So I decided, how do I really make something a win-win situation? Well, I got to know the cause of the buyer, the cause of the bank, and then how do I solve both problems? But they're happy, they're winning, they're winning, and they don't think somebody got better of the deal, right? And if I get both of them to win, don't I win when they both pay me and they get a deal? The problem is most salespeople get greedy because they could. Just because you could, just because you could get twenty percent doesn't mean you should ask for twenty percent or get it. Why? Because what if they don't? What if your twenty percent takes profit away from them? Well, I don't want to do that, but it gives me negotiation, right? So you always, what you want is always last because once they're happy, they say, all I want is this. They'll give it to you instead of fighting with you. That's right. Because you gave, you give, you yeah. give. And if you get a little bit, but you got a compound thing, because now you have a relationship. That's my focus is the relationship. The sales is easy. Okay. Right. okay. So you build a win-win relationship. Are they happy because now they got a really great agent that can help them sell their house? I tell them I'm not like most agents. I don't just put up a sign, wipe it, make it clean, get you to sign everything, and then I go home and pray for yourself. Right. I market this property. Right, that's right. Okay, so number one, what is supposed to accomplish? Real value. What is the real value? We have a relationship we never have before, all because of a co call. And I'm going to use Ms. Jody as an example. We have a phenomenal relationship. Why? Because I took the initiative. I set the tone. I called for a look where we're at today. And look what we're going to do. And I tell them, my uh, so that's a good day. I tell them, I don't have clients, I have friends in my life. So when you close, you'll still hear from me. Right. Does that make sense? Number two is, again, I'm going to repeat, is the win win relationship. So here's what happens. The seller wins, and if you happen to bring the buyer to, the buyer wins, and you win, right? Miss Jody's been involved with 700 real estate transactions. The buyer been happy, the seller's made money, and she got paid. That's a win-win relationship. Okay, the last thing is this. No, this is the this is probably the up there with the body, right? The prospects, the prospect truly sees, visualizes, visualizes the solution. They have to know and believe and see that you could truly sell their house. They have to believe that. They have to feel that. That happens in the story. Whether you got six months experience or you got three years experience or no experience, they buying into the person first. Does that make sense? Questions on it? I won't get into the other one, 
But I'll just give you a little tidbit for the next training. 